Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. Today, Apple released iOS 11.2 uh, to the public and obviously developers. Within it, Apple actually unleashed Apple Pay Cash. And this is a feature that a lot of people have been waiting for, um, just like people have been waiting for uh, iMessages in iCloud. Uh, this was one of the two big features that uh, Apple kind of touted at their event for iOS 11 and it's finally coming in iOS 11.2. So this is everything you need to know about Apple Pay Cash and how to get started with it. All right, so first off, how are you gonna get it? You have to be either a developer or on the public beta train to get iOS 11.2 right now. Uh, we do think that it will be released to the public, everyone, uh, by the end of November, uh, but of course, this is Apple, you never know what's gonna happen. So if you wanna get in on it right now, either become a developer, pay that hundred bucks and get it through that, or just hop on the free public beta train uh, and get it. I will not be putting this or any beta for the next foreseeable future uh, onto my iPhone 10, uh, just because I wanna keep it um, legit, so to speak. Uh, I don't wanna put any beta stuff on my iPhone 10. I wanna keep my iPhone 10 clean, but I can still talk about this because I know quite a bit about it and have been following it for a long time. This is a big feature that I was looking forward to. Now, there are a few things that I think will hang up a lot of people on this, uh, but I'll get to that in a second. So let's assume you've got iOS 11.2 public beta installed. Now what do you have to do? So there's a whole setup screen uh, for this, but if you are not seeing Apple Pay cash in your iMessages app, you probably don't have two-factor authentication turned on. So to use Apple Pay Cash, you have to have two-factor authentication. The two-factor authentication is a great security method uh, for a lot of people. Uh, I have some issues with the way Apple implements it. I've run into issues in the past with it and some other people have as well, like where you'll reset your phone and uh, to log back into your phone, it's gonna send you a text and you can't get the text until you get in the phone. So it's like a catch-22, it's like a loop. You see what I'm saying? So there have been some issues with it in the past um, but again, with texts coming to your Mac and to other devices, it should be all right. But again, you have to have two-factor authentication. Once you have that, you can hop into the iMessages app and you will be able to see it as one of your little iMessage applications. As you can see from their demo, this mom is very clueless and wow, she looks really old. Um, but this guy, I guess I'm assuming a college student, I hope so, is asking for money for ramen and she proceeds to give him $20. I don't think she understands that ramen is like 20 cents at the grocery store, but whatever. Uh, he's definitely going to use that for weed. All right, so uh, Apple Pay Cash works through messages app and is designed to allow for quick person-to-person -person money transfers like Square Cash, Venmo, PayPal, etc. Uh, it's built in, it's supposed to be easy, blah, 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 everything that Apple said about it. Um, they're trying to claim it's great. I see a few issues with it, um, but I'll get to that in a second. Cash can be sent from a linked debit or credit card, while received cash is stored in an Apple Pay cash card in wallet that can be used for purchases or sent to a bank account. Sending cash through credit card incurs a 3% fee. Sending cash from a debit card is free. So if you want to send cash from a debit, that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, pretty much everyone has a debit card these days, so uh, you can do that. Now, the Apple Pay Cash card is available in Wallet and is being made available through a partnership with Green Dot. Uh, so some of you guys might know what Green Dot is. Uh, they offer prepaid Discover cards and stuff like that. Um, so for Apple Pay Cash to work, both parties need to have the feature enabled and activated. So both people are going to have to be running iOS 11.2 beta right now. So obviously not a lot of people are going to. So you might want to hold off on this until it's publicly released. Money can only be sent in a one-to-one -one message with Apple Pay Cash not available in group messages. Obviously, that could get a little bit out of hand if you try to send money to someone and someone else accepts it. That would be kind of funny though. So I've already gone over this. A uh, $10 minimum must be loaded onto the Apple Pay Cash card in wallet. Two-factor authentication must be turned on, like I said, and an iPhone 6 or later is required. So keep that in mind. Apple Pay Cash is limited to the United States at this time. So when actually setting this up, there's a whole bunch of stuff you have to do. Uh, some people have to put in like their social security number, uh, their address and all kinds of other stuff. I'm not sure if everyone has to do that, uh, but that's a little bit weird just to have uh, another cash card basically that's linked to your debit. And a lot of people are mad at the fees, but just for the credit card fee that is. There's no other fees though, presumably, uh, from what I've seen. Like you can just legit just send someone $5, $20, whatever, through the Apple Pay cash card. And then if they want to withdraw it to uh, put it on their credit card or whatever, obviously there's gonna be a little bit of a fee. But yeah, that's that. And the Apple Pay cash card, I think can be used for other things. Like uh, it's kind of like a 
a third party holding space, like it's a middleman. So the Apple Pay cash card just holds the money and you can use that it, obviously at the Apple store, on iTunes, App Store, whatever. Um, but it's kind of like a holding spot until you uh, figure out what you want to do with it. Like if you want to put it on a credit card and incur that 3% fee. But that's totally up to you. Uh, I thought this was going to be a little bit better, uh, just the way that Apple made it sound um, at their events. Turns out, I mean, it's nothing really that's necessarily better than Venmo or PayPal at this point. Um, it might just be a little bit more convenient for some people because it's built into your iMessage. But again, that's personal preference. So let me know your thoughts on this down below. Um, if I had to give a general recommendation, I would say uh, don't update to iOS 11.2 public beta just for this feature. But there are other features um, of iOS 11.2 that you might want to update to for. But don't do it just for this because the chances of you being able to use this with a friend or family member are low because they're not going to be on it. So um, that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe. I've got tons more videos coming out for you guys on iOS 11, iOS 11.2. Of course, I'll let you know when it drops publicly and uh, the iPhone 10 as well. So that's all I got. Peace.